In this video, we are going to cover the special brushes and volume section of the toolbox located on the left-hand side of the user interface. Allow me to go ahead and collapse down the other sections of the toolbox by clicking on these small black arrows so that all we see is the Add Special Brush button and the Add Volume button. Now, in the very middle of my level, floating uh, in the room, is my Red Builder brush, and that is what you're going to use to add, of course, any brush to your level. If you click on the Add Special Brush button, you get the Add Special dialog. And I'm going to start off by giving you a general disclaimer that really you never need this anymore. I mean, maybe for some really out-of-the-way situation, but these days because geometry uh, or BSP geometry is really used just to define the overall shape of your level, and any sort of uh, decoration or interactive element is going to be handled with some form of mesh, be it a static mesh or an interpolation actor, you don't need any of these anymore. And what these did, like you had, you had portals and invisibles, things that were used a lot for zoning in previous versions of uh, Unreal. We don't really need them anymore. You had the ability to make a brush two-sided, or a sheet brush, for, for instance, could be two-sided. But that's now irrelevant because you can do that at the material level. You can change your bl uh, brush solidity. And what this does is this controls how the world geometry is calculated in terms of this brush. A solid brush is what you create by default. And if you place a solid brush, like a solid additive brush against one of these uh, walls, then the world geometry will be divided, divided, cut up, if you will, to take that piece of geometry into account. If you used a semi-solid brush, players and uh, and Partic uh, particles and projectiles could still interact and still collide with that brush, but it wouldn't be used, it wouldn't be calculated in figuring out the world geometry. Uh, and then finally, we have the non-solid brush, which is just a brush that is kind of like a hologram. It's, it's there, you see it, but you don't collide with it in any way. These days, however, just to reiterate, you don't really need these brushes uh, very much anymore. So let's go ahead and just uh, click cancel and get out of there altogether. Now, of more importance would be the volumes, and you'll notice that the tooltip says right-click for options, and if you right-click on this, you get uh, blocking volumes, color scale volumes, I mean a big, long list of various volumes you can create. Now, Logan, in general, what is an Unreal volume? Well, a volume is really more or less just a definition of space. It allows you to apply a property to an area of space using a brush. That's right. And they have a lot of separate purposes that you can call on, such as maybe a blocking volume, which I can add to the level, and we can move the Red Builder brush out of the way. And now if you take a look, let me see if I can select this so everybody can see this. I have a pink volume right in the middle of my level that we can't see in-game. If I jump into game mode, it disappears. But when playing the game, you could, uh, if you walked up to this, you would, it would stop you. It's like a force field. And this is great for uh, having to fake collisions at various parts in your level. We have other volumes, too, like a gravity volume where you can affect gravity, a ladder volume allowing you to set up an area that is climbable, uh, such as where a ladder would be along a wall, a reverb volume, which will cause an echo. I mean, all sorts of things. And the purpose of this video is not necessarily to go over the various volumes and how they're used, but just to kind of give you an idea of what this button does. You're never just going to left click on this button. You have to right click and choose what kind of volume you want. And really with that, that is uh, both of the options that we're meant to cover in this video being the special brush and the volume button.